I'll drag you out All the way out, out And make you look Force it if I must I'll drag it out Just to gape where there used to be a mouth And if that's all it took I wouldn't even flinch It will go on I won't rest until you're all gone All you feathered freaks Wrapped in swaddled weeks With your red and cheeks Down to your bones Down to your bones I'll drag myself into the rhythm and death And I will learn I won't even flame My um, creative practice is kind of very centrally informed by nature in that I think because I grew up here <laughs> it's hard for it sort of not to be really. Um, and when I, when, I, when I first moved away I moved up to Birmingham for university and I kind of had this intense wave of nostalgia for this <laughs> kind of the place where I grew up. And that's really when I started writing about kind of nature and growing up in kind of Dorset is when I had that distance from it to realise what a privilege that was. Um, but when I first started writing about it, it didn't have a, any kind of a complicatedness to it. It was just sort of pure unbridled nostalgia. And as I continued to write about that, I realised quite quickly that that didn't have any room for the less kind of positive bits of, you know, living in a rural community and, you know, the seasonal nature of, you know, second homes and businesses struggling and, you know, living amongst quite a lot of people who haven't seen much diversity in their lives before. Um, and so then I started writing a bit more about that too and kind of the destructive power of nostalgia and how it has this ability to, you know, bruise through kind of nuance and complication um so i think now when i write about nature i like to mix in that yeah level of dissonance i suppose and say yes you know it is an astonishing privilege that i was able to grow up mixed around all of this but also that's not necessarily enough then you know we, we need to be more understanding of the difficulties that people in rural communities go through and not just kind of fetishize the kind of little England of places like this. Um, and so yeah, I try to talk about that a bit in my work, I suppose.